Hi, hello my dear nurses. Welcome to Central Nursing YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about some of the MCQs that are the really helpful for your all types of nursing competitive exams. Today we are going to discuss the MCQs in the anatomy subject. Let's we will begin the video. The uppermost and largest bone of the pelvis is A. Iliac crest B. Ilium C. Ischium D. Obturator foramen Correct answer is Option B. Ilium Ilium is a largest part of hip bone and makes up the superior part of the acetabulum. So, the ilium is the uppermost and largest bone of the pelvis. Which bone in the human is called the tile bone? A. Lumbar vertebrae B. Sacrum C. Patella D. Coccyx Correct answer is option D. Coccyx Coccyx bone in the human is called the tail bone. Which bone in the forearm region is on the pinky finger side? Pinky finger means little finger. Which bone in the forearm region is on the pinky or little finger side? A. Radius B. Ulna C. Tibia D. Fibula. Correct answer is option B. Ulna. In the forearm region, the ulna bone is on the pinky finger side. Which bone in the forearm region is on the thumb side? Which bone in the forearm region is on the thumb side? A. Radius B. Ulna C. Tibia D. Fibula Correct answer is A. Radius In the forearm region, radius bone is on the thumb side. Which bone in the human is called the beauty bone? Beauty bone in human bone. What it is? A. Sternum B. Clavicle C. Maxilla D. Fibula Correct answer is Option B. Clavicle The beauty bone is mostly just another name for your collar bone or clavicle. Especially in women, it is the Bone located above the ribs in the chest. The word foramen means A. Opening or hole in a bone B. A joint or socket of a bone C. An area found only on the male pelvis D. None of the above Correct answer is Option A. Opening or hole in a bone an opening hole or passage especially in a bone is called foramen the shoulder blade bone is called a vertebrae b incus c scapula d fibula correct answer is option c scapula Scapula bone is also called as shoulder bone, shoulder blade, wing bone, spear bone, blade bone. The shoulder bone is also called scapula is the bone that connects the humerus with clavicle. What are the other names for scapula is shoulder bone, shoulder blade. Wing bone, spear bone, blade bone. 
the bone of the vertebral column are classified as which type of bone a flat bone b irregular bone c long bone d short bone correct answer is option b irregular bone bone of the vertebral column are classified as irregular bone irregular bone vary in shape and structure therefore do not fit in any other category like flat bone short bone long bone sesamoid bone irregular bones often have a fairy complex shapes which helps to protect the internal organs for example vertebral column protects the spinal cord vertebral column is having a irregular shape of bone type so that it will protects the spinal cord how many facial bones do you have do you have how many facial bones a 23 b 14 c 17 d 42 correct answer is option b 14 every individual is having 14 facial bones six paired bones two unpaired bones the six paired bones are nasal lacrimal inferior nasal maxilla palatine zygomatic these are the six paired bones mandible vomer are the two unpaired bones that are having in our face so in our face there are total 14 facial bones raising the arms to the side of the body while performing dumbbell lateral rises is an example of what motion a circumduction b flexion c abduction d adduction right answer is option c abduction raising the arms to the side of the body is an example of abduction motion lowering them down is an example of adduction which long bone makes up the upper part of the arm a clavicle b humerus c radius d femur right answer is option b humerus the humerus bone is the long bone that makes up the upper part of the arm gliding movement occurs at what type of joint a pivot joint b ball and socket joint c saddle joint d plane joint correct answer is option d plane joint plane joint is also called as arthroidal joint or gliding joint or plane articulation so gliding movement occurs plane joint plane joint is a synovial joint which under physiological conditions allows only gliding movement olfactory nerve related to a sight b sense of smell c peristalsis d facial sensation so right answer is option b sense of smell the olfactory nerve is the first cranial nerve that contains sensory nerve fibers relating the sense of smell so olfactory nerve related to sense of smell it is a first cranial nerve what is the name of your knee cap bone a patella b clavicle c 
tibia d nixoid so the correct answer is option a patella patella is the name of your kneecap bone the patella is also known as kneecap bone is a flat rounded triangular bone which articulates with femur and covers protects anterior articular surface of the knee joint top portion of the sternum is called a xiphoid process b manubrium c scapula d incus correct answer is option b manubrium top portion of the sternum is called as manubrium if this video is really helpful to you please give it a like and comment your doubts and suggestions and please do share with your friends and do subscribe to the channel it will helps to you for the notifications thank you so much for watching we will meet in our next daily mcqs video